Hello, you are welcome to the Gallery TV. I am Okun Chobi Samuro, and here are your news update for the day. Retired generals and social political organization once again the hiring of machinery to fight against Boko Haram. Here are the details of the report. Some retired generals and social political organization on Wednesday faltered a call for hiring of machinery to fight the Boko Haram insurgents in the Northeast. An ex-chief of defense staff, Lieutenant General Joshua Dokoyaro retired. A former general officer commanding one division, Major General Abiodun Rowe, retired. The corp commander, Amote Kun Corps in Oshun State, Brigadier General Bashiru Adewibi retired. In separate interview with reporters said, Nigerians are capable of defending themselves. Also, socio-political groups including the North Elders, Forum, the pan Yoruba Group, Afeni Ferry and the Coalition of North groups faulted the call for hiring of missionaries. Recall the following the killing of 43 rice farmers at Kwashebe village in Brno state on Saturday. The state governor, Babagana Zulum, appealed to the federal government to hire missionaries to fight the insurgents. Zulum has received the support of his counterparts, the Northeast governors and the Senate. Before the president, Major General Mamadou Bouari retired. Assumption of office, the federal government hired missionaries to fight insurgents. The Bouari regime, however, dispensed with the service of the missionaries on assumption of office in 2015. But retired generals who spoke to reporters cautioned against the return of missionaries. And on the foreign scene, all protocols to be observed is strong protocol. These were the words of Ambassador Sule Taramin during the launch of his first book in Syria alone. Here are the reports. Let me stand on existing protocols. <laughs> Ambassador Sule Jeremy has launched his book during the course of the week titled All Protocols Observe, a handbook on protocol practices and procedures in Freetown, Syria alone. The emphasis of this book highlights the relevance of protocol in interaction and not just government officials. Jeremy, during the launch, explains the reason for the choice of topic. And the title All Protocols Observed as you might have noticed, it's wrong protocol salutation. And I put it there deliberately to attract attention of everybody so they could read it and know that it is wrong protocol and it should not be used. He added that protocol breaches are mistakes made when the right protocols are not observed and implemented, stating that it was the reason why he wrote the book. Professor J. A. D. Ali, who reviewed the book, has this to say. What he has done is to give us a detailed account of what protocol is all about, you know. Uh, and it's a very complex but interesting area of study, uh, which I think is very useful for our students, particularly those in political science, in uh, diplomatic history, and even for practicing. Uh, senior civil servants who on a daily basis are engaged in the business of protocol. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Nabella F. Tunis, who was at the event, expressed optimism as she described the book as Syria Loans Encyclopedia for Protocol Practices and Procedures. The singular honor to formally launch Sierra Leone's Encyclopedia for Protocol Practices and Procedures all protocols observed by our distinguished personality, Ambassador Sule Darami. Ambassador Sule Darami was the former High Commissioner to the Republic of Gambia and former Ambassador of Guinea-Bissau. He has been in protocol for more than 40 years. And that's the more you can take on the news for today. Once again, I am Okun Jabi Samuel. For more information, you can join us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at The Gallery TV. Bye for now.